Welcome back to rural Pennsylvania, where it seems there's at least one mall for every county. Today we find ourselves in Du Bois, taking a look at their very own mall. One that seems to just limp along like so many others. Join me for a walk around the mysterious Du Bois Mall. In July 1971, plans were unveiled for a small and humble shopping mall anchored by a grocery store in Du Bois, PA. And in September 1972, its anchor, Montgomery Ward, would open its doors with a grand opening ahead of Murphy's Mart, which was the grocery store that would open in 1973. The mall even hosted a Wolf Furniture Showcase that same year as a junior anchor. Now, while I couldn't find a concrete date for the Du Bois Mall's opening, eyewitnesses and nostalgic articles point towards 1972 being the opening year. The Du Bois Mall did become a popular mall for the area, gaining tenants in and around the mall and it even established a small retail corridor close by. Unfortunately, since this area is another informational black hole outside of certain dates, we don't have much concrete information for the Du Bois Mall, so we'll have to work with vague speculations. If you're in the area and you know more history about this mall, do share in the comments below. Now, as far as I could gather, J.C. Penney did not appear to be an original anchor, but an early expansion when the mall gained popularity. After tracking down old aerial maps, I was able to pin that the expansion happened before 1981, as the building leading to J.C. Penney is a bit of an awkward shape. And sometime in the late 80s or early 90s, we would see Sears come in along with another awkward expansion that wraps around J.C. Penney's North Face. I apologize for those who want specific dates. I want those dates too, but between various old articles and newspapers, I could only sort out when the mall was confirmed as well as the opening dates for Montgomery Ward and Murphy's Mart. Speaking of those two, it's probably expected the two were closed with Murphy's Mart specifically getting taken over by Ames, and of course Ames would flee the scene as it went into decline and bankruptcy. Currently, the Murphy's Mart space is filled in by Staples and Big Lots. Meanwhile, Montgomery Ward would be subdivided to make room for Ross Dress for Less and Old Navy. Whatever happened between Wards and the subdividing is beyond my knowledge. As we enter the 2010s, however, the picture becomes a little bit more clear once again. While the mall was getting by just fine, Sears, surprise surprise, closed its doors for the last time in November 2018. And then in 2019, Jones Lang LaSalle, owners of the mall at this time, renovated the older 70s and 80s portions of the mall, turning the floor into a sea of gray depression. Despite this, however, the enigma that is the Du Bois Mall still exists today, having survived 2020, and is limping along in a seemingly indefinite state of limbo. For now, at least. Even J.C. Penney is still hanging out as of the making of this video. While I have great problems with this kind of gray washing, I suppose it isn't a total loss as we still get the late 80s or early 90s portion. You can also still see small portions of the old mall still intact, like some of the various storefronts and facades. But given the pics I could find before the Hull-esque gray carpets, 
That carpeting is just a tragedy. But at the end of the day, I can't hate this mall. Not much at least. It survived 2020 and still hosts modest occupancy today. It's also still an interesting mall in its mystery and the funky kinks in its layout. Maybe that's why it still resonates with me. I have kinks too. Okay, it's getting weird. But back to the mall, it is also a spectacle of some of the many malls still going today in rural Pennsylvania. Way too many were built, most should not have been built, and yet here we are. Interstate 80 specifically seems to have a whole trail of tears for struggling malls in Pennsylvania. For those of you over 21, get your favorite alcohol and open Google Maps. And then take a sip for every single mall you see within 10 minutes of Interstate 80 in Pennsylvania. You'll probably get quite the buzz at the end of the night. Anyway, we are getting ready to wrap up at the Du Bois Mall. At the end of the day, it's a decent place to take Du Bois to. Bad puns aside, what did you think of this mall? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Share in the comments below, and smash the like button on the way down. Maybe as we get a more concrete timeline for this mall, I'll be happy to come back and do a proper Redux video. Thanks for having me, Du Bois, and until next time, this is Doomy Grunt wishing you and the Du Bois Mall farewell and good luck.